guys, you're back to another episode of Jimmy Chef TV. Today we're going to be making a recipe that I made, and it's called, it's like it's like vanilla cake. It's got a different style, but it's like vanilla cake with coconut on the top and a nice syrup on the top, and it's so delicious. And I really wanted to share it with you guys today. So let's just get on to the video. Alright, guys. So <clears throat> the ingredients for today is one and three quarter cups of almond meal. So let's just ground up almonds. Three eggs, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I have a 250 gram pack of creme fraiche, and that just makes it so delicious and moist. We have one third cup of sugar, and I know that's not much, but we need more. We want to have a lot of sugar for the syrup, so that's why we have less sugar in the cake. And I have self raising flour. Now, I don't know the measurement to the self raising flour, but I'll tell you after. Because I'm going to keep adding until the cake batter is like the right consistency. But I'll tell you after. Alright guys, so you're probably going to need an electric mixer or like a hand mixer for this. But if you have really strong arms, go ahead. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our sugar into the mixing bowl and our three eggs. And now that I've added my eggs into the sugar, I'm going to add some vanilla, about a teaspoon. Teaspoon and a half, I don't know, depends. <laughs> and um, we're going to put this in the electric mixer with a whisk attachment. Whisk it up until it gets really airy and white. Alright guys, so my eggs are whipped and it's really white and fluffy. And now what I'm going to do is add my creme fraiche. Alright guys, now that my creme fraiche is in the eggs and sugar and vanilla, I'm going to whisk it up until... Um, the creme press is just throughout the whole mixture. Alright guys, now I just whisked that for like, like 50 seconds, 30 seconds, anyway. So now I've got my almond meal and I'm going to place that in and then I'm going to keep adding self-raising flour until I think it's good consistency. Wait, I'm scraping the side. Alright guys, now I'm going to be adding the self raising flour and I'll tell you after how much I added. Alright guys, so in total I added one cup of self raising flour and now I've got my mixture. I beat it for like one minute and then I took it off so I don't over beat it. And now I'm going to pour this mixture into this pan that I've already lined with parchment paper and it's okay if it comes up this side. That's all okay. And now I'm going to pour all this mixture into here. But... Alright guys, so I um I put all my mixture into this and now I've just got a spatula because I want to smooth it all out. And it's going to be a really thin um, cake because I'm using a really big pan, but it just depends on what pan you want. Alright guys, I've smoothed this out, so now I'm going to put it into a preheated oven at 180 and bake it until a, a skewer goes in the middle and it comes out clean. Alright guys, so while the cake is cooking, I have a pot on the stove and I have one cup of sugar and one cup of water. I'm using um, like, um, like raw sugar, it's called raw sugar, it's like brown sugar, but because I don't have white sugar, but um, that's just going to simmer away, like bubble, for like five minutes and then I'm going to start adding some saffron some rose water to give it a nice like Middle Eastern like flavor. All right guys, so when the sugar and water had dissolved, I added, I um, um, dissolved some saffron in hot water and I added about a tablespoon of that, but ba that basically depends on how you like, um, if you want it like really um, like powerful or really like dull. And then I have some rose water. I added quite a bit of rose water because I absolutely love rose water. But you just basically add how much you think you would like in your syrup. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut the cake into diamonds and then I'm going to put the syrup over the top. I'll show you how I cut it um, when I'm done. Guys, now I've got my syrup and now I'm going to just drizzle that all over. Just go all out with Yeah. Alright guys, so I basically caramelized some shredded almonds and I just want to put that on the top. You don't have to do this, but I want to do it. Alright guys, when I let the syrup soak, this is what it turned out to be. And 
it is actually probably one of the most, like, one of the most, I actually love it. Like, one of the most best recipes I've made ever. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below on anything else I should make. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.